In this video, you will learn how to use the web and rib commands to reinforce your design for subsequent manufacturing techniques and intended product use with the Fusion 360 product design extension. The web command is a tool that lets you place thin walled features from an open sketch profile in a direction that is perpendicular to the sketch plane and are extruded to the nearest face on a solid body. The rib command is a tool that lets you place thin walled features from an open sketch profile in a direction that is parallel to the sketch plane and are extruded to the nearest face on a solid body. Both features are typical in the design for plastic injection moulded parts as they can increase part strength based on the intended product use and reduce warpage, shrinkage and voids during the injection moulding process. Before you can begin to use either command, you must first create your sketch profile. As a best practice, you may find it easier to begin by projecting existing 2D profiles or 3D geometry onto your sketch plane to provide a base profile. From there, you can add your additional sketch geometry for the web or rib features. And as the base profile is projected, this means if the reference geometry is updated, then this profile will also update parametrically. Start the web command from the plastic tab on the toolbar, then select your sketch profiles. In the dialog, you will see automatically inherited values applied to the respective web features based on the plastic rule that has been assigned to the component. For instance, you can see the thickness, draft angle, and fillet radius have a parameter automatically assigned to them, although these values can be manually edited at any time. Within this dialog, we also have thickness direction, which lets you state whether the wall thickness is symmetrical on the sketch profiles or sits to one side. Start, which lets you state whether the web thickness values from the bottom or top of the web. Extent type, which lets you extend the web to the nearest face or enter a specific value, and extend curves that lets you extend the web feature beyond the end of the sketch to the nearest solid body. After you press OK, you will see the web feature has been created and has been captured in the timeline, meaning you can come back and edit this at a later time. Start the rib command, this time by pressing S on your keyboard and searching for the command, then select your sketch profiles. Again, you can see the thickness, draft angle and fillet radius have a parameter automatically assigned to them. And you also have the thickness direction, start and extent type options. In the rib command, you must also select the draft pull direction, which must align with how the part will be ejected from the injection molding machine to ensure the draft angles are aligned correctly. One final tip is that you can set the extent type to a specific distance to create a custom depth for a rib feature, rather than extending the profile all the way to the nearest face on a solid body. Press OK and the rib feature will be created and captured in the timeline. With both features captured in the timeline, you can come back and edit them at a later time. Remember, you must assign the plastic rule before applying the web or rib feature to ensure any future edits are updated in line with the plastic rules assigned to the components. If you need to edit either feature as your design evolves, right click the feature in the timeline and select edit feature. You can add or remove sketch geometry and adjust any of the settings associated with the web or rib feature. After you click OK, the design will update to reflect your changes. If you need to create many web or rib features with similar setting values, you can save your preferred setting as a preset at the top of the dialog, and then apply them quickly the next time you use the web or rib tools. Also, if you update or edit any reference sketch geometry, the features update parametrically to reflect the new position or shape.
And finally, if you switch the plastic rule to a different material, you will notice that the values in the web and rib features automatically update to inherit the new plastic rule properties. This gives you the opportunity to assign, update and experiment with different plastic materials without needing to manually edit each respective physical material properties like mass or physical values such as thickness or radius. Now you know how to create a web or rib feature in your designs with the Fusion 360 product design extension. Thanks for watching.